tour. Kansas City, Kansas. Raw, unedited confessionals. <laughs> Out on the road right now. Where, where are you at? Oh, that's right. Uh, we're here in uh, Kansas City, Kansas. Um, just rolled in here about a week ago. But uh, our highlights, I mean, I'd say the thing for me was the very first night we got on the road, the day we left Ohio. Uh, Brian and I came back to the RV with four squad cars, five cops, flashlights out. They're all standing there. We we're like, oh man, here we go. <laughs> And so it's kind of interesting, though, because in DeKalb, on one of our videos, the police came out and they were like, well, we really don't want you to chalk, but they weren't going to arrest us. And like, so it's, it's really changed the uh, way. I know the police in Noblesville were upset, but they were more upset because they thought that was paint. And I just thought it was kind of funny that uh, they, they were mistaken on that. Like they, they did such a poor investigation into it. So what's going on? Oh, I just got done hooking up some ground beef, like a whole thing of it, man. Yeah. And, uh... Now my right arm is tired. Okay, but let's get serious. What are we doing? Dude, look, we're gonna eat right now. How's this? Quit playing with that. It's like touching your wiener. If you touch it three more times, you're not shaking it. You're playing with it. Oh, we make shit when we're on tour. I'm gonna call the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department and uh, follow up with them right now. Hey, doing, Sergeant Mills? My name is Brian. I am audio recording this call. I have one question. Uh, I was curious as to whether the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department was capable in jumping vehicles. Can that be just a case by case? That'd be up to the officer at the scene. So officer discretion on whether or not they want to provide a jump. They can jump them if they want. And they didn't want to. Why not take a minute and do something really good on camera and uh, challenge us to put publish exactly, it? Exactly. Challenge right. us to to publish it. So those cops are shitbags. What do we have to knock out before we can start making new content? Some of these are just ideas, or they're they need to be done. Like, does it need to be done before we do whatever? I think, like, the vlog, you know, this needs to be done. You know, because, like, then the cell phone one video, like, then if, like, maybe somebody wants to write that script or think about how to do it, or easiest cop blocking video. Goal today would be, like, to get this done, like, at least to the point where it's, like, just got to get finished out tomorrow. Definitely this done. Definitely that done. One of these two, like, either that video started or that video confessions. We got to do those, like, every day. Today is Monday, October 12th. Another day. On the Mac tour, sitting here in Kansas City, Kansas, working on uh, some cop lock store stuff, as well as some video content. We'll be editing the vlog later. Should be a pretty good Monday. Glad you could join us. To be a victim, you can beat me and take me, but you can never break me. Tell me what to do, but today you gotta make me. Body cams or not, I don't care, but we should walk in and be like, Hi, I'm Adamo Freeman, and this is Brian Sumner. We're here because we're traveling the country doing a tour in our RV called Mac, and uh, our tour is about finding a good cop, so we are here to interview your good cop. Would you tell us where to find him? Come with me, camera. Did we get a ride along? We were semi-confessional. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Confess. Don't you know what My I mean? sins to the camera. All right, so today is Tuesday, the second day of week three on the Mac Tour. We've been jamming out some videos, uh, videos where we help people jump a car and uh, interacted with some cops that were all over the neighborhood where we're staying. So hopefully here in the next couple days, we'll get out and do some filming. We got some ideas to do some educational stuff. What's been falling on our plate as of now has pretty much been spontaneous. Is this the Kansas City, Kansas side or MO? We're on the KCK side. Yeah, I know, right but now. with the Olive Garden, did you know? Oh, it's the Missouri side, I'm pretty sure. We should just. Independence Missouri store because he had a gun. Got it right. Oh, well, that's fucked up. Now I can't really support that, though. Oh, they kicked her out because he had a gun? No, yeah, not because he was a violent fucking pig. But the restaurant spokesman later said it was a complete misunderstanding. Olive Garden welcomes a member of law enforcement all the time in the restaurant. Fucking cop loves every serving restaurant, them. dude. Every fucking restaurant. Like, think restaurant. of the logic behind that, dude. They're saying that we love serving people who harass people all day long. Yeah. Like that coffee shop. The guy wrote FTP on their cup, on the cop cup, and they were like, oh, our guy's under review, you know, ha, ha, ha. We take the vandalism of these coffee cups as serious as the police take the investigations of their murders. And uh, so obviously not very seriously. Right, right. You know, we hot dogs, bro. I'll go warm them up. Fucking A, man. Give me them wieners. Bam, wieners for all. Wieners for all. It was how ridiculous that sounded until it came out of my mouth. I hope that's still running. <laughs> Dude, I hope so too. So today is uh, Wednesday, October 14th. Once again, doing laundry in the Mac. 
Found out today that we're gonna have a little delay on the license plates. This was uh, giving me a little bit of a headache. Time taken away from being productive other ways on the back tour has been spent trying to find out how I'm gonna drive my property from one piece of dirt to another. Aside from that, I've been working on some Coplock network tasks of updating some of the Google AdSense abilities. You don't wanna fill the website up with a whole bunch of ads but we just we definitely want to have the ones that we have be effective and so even though the mac tour uh requires like a you know 12 hour day there's still other things that get done besides uh just mac content you know you can also help out by going to coplock.org and getting one of these banging t-shirts or hoodies actually the hoodies just went on sale 30 dollars now instead of 35 saving money gotta save that money you know brian and i are both itching to get out and film uh, we have a couple good ideas for content some of the educational aspect which he's actually working on today and some more of maybe uh you know finding a good cop and so see how those go i think they're gonna be more comedic than uh, uh actual uh of finding a good cop i think we know how most of us feel about that but i think it'll be interesting to see i live in my mama's basement i wish that she could fold my laundry mom meatloaf uh it's the 14th we are combing our hair yeah i'm combing my hair and trying to we're in the today's fucking wednesday Today, oh, we shit. should call cop lock radio tonight fucking dio and derek i am doing some minor annotations to a video that we made yesterday of a and then from there we will move on to other content creation see that we have like confessions to do blogs the video for vlog too and what were we gonna do after that uh, i was gonna start getting footage and like working on like scripts for the uh easy chalk cop blocking okay. ideas video unless right. you have some new idea that takes priority no i would either say that if that's what we want to shoot tomorrow with the good cop interactions all right let's get oh, some grub coffee one of the Mandatory necessity ingredients of the Mac tour. Gonna be uh, 7463. It's gonna be 9561. Yeah, we'll see. What'd you say? 7563. He's already done. I told you, you're already done. Wow. What'd you say? 9563. No? It's gonna be like 89.99 or something. Yeah, 105. What's up? The cops, man. Yeah, we'll give you a card. 86.53. Ah, I knew I should have said it. 89. Hold it up. Yeah, check out the website. We got all kinds of tips, tactics. We actually ran the cops out of the parking lot here like last week. Yeah, they were just chilling. He didn't like it. We asked him if we could search his car, and he's like, "No, you can't search my car. Like, would you have ID on you?" And he's like, "Yeah." I'm like, well, "Can we see it?" And he's like. Why? And we're like, well, you do this to other people. We're just <laughs> let you know how it's, how, what it's all about. Yeah, you know? it feels pretty so cool. Good, does it? So even when we're grocery shopping, we're advocating badges don't grant extra rights. Who is it? Oh, it's Roscoe. It's the Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe. Chill out, man. Let me finish up. Birds can also serve as a warning. If you see a speed trap or any other type of situation where law enforcement seeks to entrap the people it claims to protect, you can get out of your car with the sign. This made me uh, think of like a really funny content idea. Cause like a demo's represented himself in court like how many times? Enough. Enough, right? So uh, like we got these criminal charges like brought against me. So I'm gonna like pick up the phone and call a demo Freeman attorney at law. <laughs> What should I do? Tell him to fuck off. But, uh, yeah, it's probably just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is Noblesville, Indiana, like, uh... Well, they jumped on you guys quick, that's all Hey, I what's know. funny is, is, let's not say anything for let, let the week play out, because I bet you there's a fucking government ticket right behind it. And what's funny is that the, the fucking attorneys get you the mail before you get the fucking ticket. Oh, no, because, like... They just took our IDs, and then I said, so are you going to give us our IDs back? Are you guys done being buttered? And they're like, yeah, you're going to have your IDs back. And we fucking made fun of them until they left. <laughs> we went to the store today, picked up some groceries and stuff. Thanks, everybody, that's been donating to keep the tour rolling. 
Really appreciate that. And tonight we're planning on uh, taking a Demos car forest out with one of the headlights missing, getting hopefully getting pulled over, seeing if we can convince the cops to uh, replace the headlight for us. We originally had plans to go into uh, police stations in the Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas area and ask them to direct us to their good cops. Unfortunately, we didn't have time for that. So tomorrow after a meeting with uh, one of the local police group, police accountability groups, we're hoping to pull that off. That should be a lot of fun. That should be an interesting encounter. Police claim to protect you and provide a service. And I don't think they would provide you a service if they were given the opportunity. So we're gonna put that to the test. I just removed a good light bulb with a bad light bulb. And so we'll have a burnt out light bulb and if the police pull us over, I'll ask them to put in the light bulb and see if they actually provide a service. Now, I think there probably is a cop out there that will do this. And I hope we find them so but at the end of the day people should still think do the police provide you a service one that is equivalent to the amount that you pay for them even if we get a guy to change this light bulb just still be asking yourself that question can you tell me what you guys are doing well we actually came out here to see if you guys wanted to play a round of football with us oh i'll be down to play football well, your partner won't, and your partner oh well that's all right he's his own person you up to it Oh, none yeah. of you guys would be on my no, team? We're here to play some football with you guys. We, Not, we can pick teams. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, no one wants to be on my I'll team? I'll be on your team. All right, I appreciate it. So if we can get a football, you'll play. Well, I'm sure you said you had one in your trunk. Right. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Let's do it. You're not going to chicken out, right? What would I chicken out about? It's not deflated. It's not deflated. Oh, yeah, it's deflated. Yeah, make sure it's regulation. That's New England, man. You guys don't deflate. That's what you guys accusing us of. Oh, that's right. Kansas City plays fair. That's why we lose. Is this a gift for me? Uh, ah, come on, cool. throw that. Yeah, we gotta return them. There you go. Uh, All right. You wanna get down on this? Come on. These are gonna be the most famous cops come ever. You guys got to play catch now with a cop locker. You can check that off your bucket list. See, it'd be cool. You guys should start your own police force where you guys play football until somebody calls you for a crime and then you can come out. You know, the civilians against cop lock are never gonna let me live, the, let you guys live this down. What's that? The Civilians Against Cop Lock Facebook page is never going to let you guys live this down. Oh, they expect you all to thump me with a billy club and stuff. Why? I don't know. They don't like that we film you guys. Where's the Winnebago? Oh, -ho, Winnebago. Yeah. It's not a Winnebago, it's a Tiago. Oh, okay. Well, but, yeah. yeah. Where's that at? It's on the, the what, the north side of uh, the city? I was hoping to see You know where it is. No, I don't. I, we were hoping you guys had it out. Let's well, go yeah, you guys too. We'll be out and about. All Maybe right, we'll guys. see each other again when we play some more catch. Most likely. This young man here, Adamo, helped establish this, this cop lock, and he's going to explain what it is. So my name is Adamo, and uh, I founded a group or website called Cop Lock, uh, coplock.org. At the end of the day, we are a diverse group of individuals who just believe that badges don't grant extra rights, and we believe that showing to people uh, that uh, the best tool to have is a video camera. And so we, me and my friend Brian here, are uh, traveling around the country in an RV we call Mac the Mobile Accountability for Cops RV, and uh, we're meeting up with some of the 250 uh, cop lock offshoots. There's one here in Kansas City, Kansas. So KCK uh, Cop Lock uh, founders, we're meeting with them and trying to show other folks in the community how to use a video camera to uh, hold police accountable. Right now we are driving to downtown Kansas City, Missouri side, and uh, we're looking for good cops. Standing outside of the uh... Kansas City, Missouri Police Headquarters. We're about to go in looking for a good cop. I interview him. Good up? luck. Good. Hey, man. Hello, man. Uh, my name's Adamo with coplock.org, and I was hoping to uh, be able to speak with a good cop. We don't have any officers that work out of this building. What do you need? Oh, so it's just the headquarters? It doesn't have. Like, the chief doesn't isn't here? Well, he may be here. I don't know. I doubt if he'll come down here. Well, could you ask him if he would like to come down? We can go up. I'll, yeah, I can come up there. Okay, great. So this is round two. We're at one of the police substations. The South. The South station, South substation. Nobody was available at the headquarters. And so... Uh, yeah, they were available, they just weren't willing. To us. So we're gonna go and try and find out if somebody's free and willing here. Hi, my name's Adamo. Me and my friend were hoping to get an interview with a good cop. Sergeant Taylor, you wanna do an interview? Coplock.org. I'm sorry, there's windows you can't hear. No okay. problem. Hi, my name is Adamo with Coplock.org. Uh huh. Me, whoops. Ah. Me and my friend Brian here are doing a tour, and our tour is to find good cops. And so we were hoping that we would get the chance to interview one. I don't really want to be on camera. 
I mean, you guys gotta have one good cop that wants to be on camera, right? The demo feels like there's a good cop in this book. Hi, we're here to uh, speak with a good cop. With the, with the what? A good cop? We're hoping that we can do an interview with a good cop. Former good cops. <laughs> Pictures of former good cops. These are old good cops. Is Glenn... Excuse me? Yes. How much longer? Yeah, just a few more minutes. Just a few more? Yeah. Oh, it's already been a few, so I was making sure. You're not the good cop, are you? I'm not a cop. Oh, okay. Are you the good cop? with the Shawnee Police Department. The reason I pulled you over is you have an out headlight. You have I your do. driver's license and insurance. I have a driver's license with me. I, I just see temporary it's... on there, so I'm not sure. What do you mean? I'll show you. It's just showing temporary, but... What is? Your tag. I, I don't know what... Like my driver's license? My plates or my license? Your license plate. Uh, I think they say permanent. Oh, maybe... It, I thought it said permit. Nope, I think it says permanent. Oh, okay. So you can get a permanent tag through... You know, I don't know what you get. You guys have some crazy laws here, so you right. guys just do what you got to do. Well, we're and then, trying to figure it out. If we're you really want to help me out, out here's the thing. light bulb. Change my headlight. Okay. Here you go. Oh, I'm not going to change your headlight. Why not? <laughs> That's why I got stopped. I got the headlight right here. Right, but I'm not going to change your headlight. Man. Mr. Mueller, I need you to step out of your vehicle, please. I'll come. I need to talk to you back here. Uh, am I going to jail, I guess? Unfortunately. I need you to step out. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any weapons or anything sharp on you? He's going to cut me or hurt me. All right, everyone's Brian. Adamo just got arrested for a felony warrant for criminal mischief. That fucking doesn't even make sense. I got to get on social media and fucking hash this shit out. We're going to start a call flood right now. All right, everyone's Brian. Still alone in Mac. Adamo is currently incarcerated. But it's a misdemeanor charge. He has court Monday at 1.30. Indiana is not planning on extraditing Adamo. And so I'm going to call the jail and check in and keep them just aware that somebody is... People are aware that he's in jail, that we aren't happy about it. How you doing, sir? My name is Brian. This call is being audio recorded. All right, what would you like to know? Uh, the court date for Mr. Mueller? Yes, it'll be, his first appearance is going to be Monday at 1.30. And so it's my understanding that uh, Mueller is being held as a fugitive. I believe that's what it said earlier when I was in there. If wherever the warrant stems from, this fugitive status stems from, uh, chooses not to extradite, will Mr. Mueller be released on Monday? Most likely, yes, but it, it will be up to the judge. If the state chooses not to extradite, how long is the maximum that you can hold him? Uh, he most likely just be released as soon as the board goes through. So Damon's, I guess, doing good. I can't see him, so I don't know. The word is that they're not going to extradite from Indiana. So Monday afternoon, hopefully, we'll be picking up a demo. We'll be kicking ass. All right, everybody, Brian, down here in Olathe, Kansas. We are going to meet with a bail bondsman to get a demo out. He spent the past two nights in jail. We got to go back to Indiana and take care of some warrant. So I'm going to take care of the logistics right now, and hopefully a demo will be free in a matter of hours. Oh, live here in the Mac. Damo's been out of jail for an hour. Stressful weekend. It's getting better. Basically, that's gonna be our content all week. That's gonna be like the first thing tomorrow. We gotta start calling. I, we gotta figure out how to word it right. Cause I don't wanna like. Cause I wanna tell him like, like you don't want us to come back. And then it was a mad dash. Everyone wants to use the phone, right? So three three. Let's go first to Skype, where Demo Freeman is on the line and out of jail. Yes, the freer world. I appreciate it. and a big thanks to uh, you guys and everyone else who made that push, which uh, did help me get out of jail. Uh, I was gonna ask, how do you feel the fuck the police shirts will be? Will go over. I have a pretty. I think I have a pretty like biased opinion, bro, because I've been like searching around for a fuck the police hat for a long time. But I expect a lot of negative feedback, but whatever. You can't. You couldn't say fucking. I had a cool day with my dog without somebody calling you a snitch <laughs> and telling you to go to hell or something. You know you. Another video I make, like, where I'm just trying to do my shit, and, like, everyone just keeps bringing it up. Fuck you, rat! Snitch! Hey, a guy comes up, and he's like, Thank you, man, because of the videos I've seen on Cop Lock, I didn't get arrested the other day, and you're a fucking rat. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fuck the police shirts are gonna be tied, dude. Yeah, I definitely think, the, we'll find out, like, I got, like, half hour to fucking tweak up this post, and then maybe probably an hour to bump that one out, and so it'll probably go up within whatever. CACB admin say, we should all take the plastic bag challenge to cure stupidity. Oh fucking a! Let's take that chalk out to this, uh, some fucking concrete around here. Do we have another pack of this shit? No, and I think we have. No, I think we do. We have like, I think there's one. And it's yellow. Yeah, and we have a thing down in the thing. 
and it's yellow. All right. So while Brian and I were just brainstorming how to attack our warrants out of Indiana, we realized that we actually have a pack of the yellow powder, which the cops at the scene at least said uh, was an issue, that the yellow spray paint. And we have the yellow container. So like, this is what the original yellow was in, and uh, we're gonna fill it up tomorrow when it's light. And we're gonna test it on rough concrete, smooth concrete, and then we'll try to wash it off too. Who vlogs on the video? What are you doing today, dude? I'm working on the week two vlog. How's it going? Pretty good. First cut halfway through, all the way through? Uh, just about halfway through. Yeah. How do you think it's going thus far? Pretty good, there's some funny shit in here. Better than last week? Well, I mean, I guess that'd be subjective. Sure, but what do you think? I don't know, last week's vlog was pretty special because it had like the pre-tour stuff in it too. And so there will never like really be another vlog like it. <laughs> so that one might be the best one ever. I was just saying how I'm working on the third vlog today. Goal of Monday, fucking October 19th, 2015. Clear up some of the work that is coming up that must be done so that we can focus on a little bit of work we need to do in Indiana. That's been the goal of Monday. Monday fun day, get our TPS reports done. I got it, bro. Like, Camilla, how you doing, officer friendly? Pretty good, thanks. I want to tell you how it's real in here. I kicked the shit like a cop! <laughs> <laughs> search the car! Right, search the car. Found some drugs. No, I didn't. Made them up! Lead a workshop! Hit the lights! Pull them over! Pull a gun! Now they're dead! Not involved! That's like the best video idea we've come up with yet. You know? And so, voluntary interactions to me are better than man-made regulations. And that if, uh, if, you know, like instead of voting once every four years, we voted every day with our minds, our feet, our wallets, and who we decided to associate with, all those millions of votes or actions amongst one another, because I believe more people are inherently good than evil, would produce a better, you know, society, humanity, world, whatever you want to label it. Well, I don't know if we're using the right terms. I, would, I don't know if I would advocate the abandonment of police, because to me, police are people who provide a service of protection, so I wouldn't want to get rid of people who provide a service. I would advocate, though, the ab abolishment of government. I don't think a centralized government is a needed thing in a society. Um, now, I would, I would put an asterisk on that, that by force. You know, if people, if people want to buy all of the UK and say we have a president or a parliament and a leader and rules, that's great, as long as they're not, it's voluntary, as long as they're not forcing it on anybody. I don't think, uh, right. No, that sounds great. And just so you know, I don't know if you remember this, but if you go to coplock.org slash Mac, M-A-C, um, right there at the top, it says recent content. But, um, you know, you can keep up with us or see, you know, you can see some of those vlogs or videos. You know, if, even if you want to send some links to your colleagues, it makes it easier, like, hey, this is what we're getting into. You know, I got, so that vlog would be a, a good video for you guys. It's it's about 20 minutes, but it's behind the scenes stuff, so it'll give you a real sense of what we do in a week. Well, till next time, guys. See you later. Hey, everybody, it's Demo, and I'm Brian. First, we want to thank you for watching the week three vlog, but we also wanted to let you know that the Mac tour is currently paused while we deal with some bogus charges out of Noblesville, Indiana. That doesn't mean that we're not holding police accountable. We're still going to be contributing to the Cop Block Network, as well as working on content for Noblesville. You can check out more of that at copblock.org slash Noblesville. Hopefully, we'll get our tour back on the road by the end of the year. Until then, thanks for your support, and we'll see you when the Mac Tour gets rolling again. Peace. Peace.